Hello, this is the Clay Golem. We're back with another little tips video for all you DMs out there. Now, if you are looking for images, etc., for use in your VTTs or however you're using those images, one of the challenges you might encounter is where we get. If I use Sildar here, for example, we get a picture we don't want to use, but we've got a background that we don't want. And we don't want that translating through to our tokens. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I've got some tokens where I've just taken people like Sildar, used them with the white background, but it's not necessarily brilliant. Um, and we should probably do a bit better. Um, I've also got Quilleen here with a nice white background, beautiful, but I don't want that for my tokens. So. Just a quick tip really, uh, nothing to do with Foundry particularly, but any VTT you're using. You can come to uh, Pixlr, so literally P-I-X-L-R dot com. Uh, this is free to use to an extent, because not all of us have access to Photoshop, we don't necessarily have the money. You know my philosophy, if there's a way to do it legally, ethically, appropriately, that we can do for free then let's make sure everybody is aware of them. So um, this is the main front screen here. You can see it talks about AI uh, image generation, but I want this open AI photo editor. So if I click this, it's going to bring me to this screen here and I can over here on the left, select my image. Now let's pick, uh, who shall we pick? Here we can pick Sildar. Uh, this is actually a different version of Sildar. He's in a different window, but let's pick Sildar. Here he is. Now I want to get rid of all of this white and I want to turn this into a PNG. So effectively that background disappears for us. If I go over to my options on the left hand side, we've got all sorts of things we can do here um, to adjust colors and everything else. But what I mostly want to do is to cut out. So cut out means basically, I'm just going to zoom in him a bit, uh, is cut him out. Uh, and you know doing that by hand is ridiculous but we do have some uh, shape cutout, magic cutout, draw cutout and lasso cutout. Now draw cutout is going to take me forever uh, that's not really what I want to do. Uh, shape cutout means I can literally draw a shape and whoops and cut out everything but that shape. If your images are nice and clear and your backgrounds like this are bright white the magic cutout probably works best for you it's really really good now you can see you can keep what you select or remove what you select so i want to leave that on remove um, and there's a tolerance here now tolerance is to do with how um how much it will get rid of that's almost the same as the thing you select so <laughs> that, that might not make sense uh, but you might need to play with it let's turn this right the way up to maximum uh, and i'm just going to click top left here on this white and that has just chopped out everything that matches that color is this perfect no look at his shoulder so it's also removed great chunks of his shoulder here so we're going to do a control z that is too much now if i turn the tolerance down let's try about 50 we might find that it works a bit better excellent so we haven't removed this shoulder bit yet uh, in, you know, when we didn't want to, which is good because we're, it's a little bit more, um, it, it's adjusting to what we want a bit better. However, it has left a couple of gaps. So there's one just here behind this hand. We can click that, there it's gone. And there is down here by the shield. Now in this particular instance, 50% seems to be about right. Uh, we've got a little bit, actually, there's a little bit of bleed on the shield here that's not quite what we want. So we can just undo that again. We can turn that tolerance down. Let's try it about 25. Every image you do will be different. Okay, so it's just a case of playing with this. We've still got that shield bit. We still now, we've still got the shoulder. We get rid of these other couple of gaps uh, and that's looking pretty good. Now, is it perfect? No, it's not. But how quick and easy is this? And now I can just go to save here. Uh, it wants to save as a PNG with the transparency, which of course is what we want. Uh, and I can click save and I can just save this back in here as a PNG. So I'm going to have my original as well. And now I've got that one. Now what you will notice is this is going to pop up and say, yes, it's successful. Uh, two out of three daily save, daily free saves have been used. So for this free version, 
you're only going to get three you can do per day without signing up etc so uh, yes it is absolutely free if you've got a lot to do uh, this could take you a while <laughs> you're gonna have to do some scheduling or actually sign up for the free account um, log in and I, then I believe you get access to more of them um, even without paying for the actual service so there we go now bring my folder back down here uh, this is not the folder I was in I seem to have more than one folder with my people in uh, so if I go over to my characters folder uh, where is he still last so here we go um, let's make those super large icons and now I've got my two versions of Sildar here. I've got my original with the white background and then I've got this one with that background removed. And for using in tokens and things like that, that's going to be much nicer. So just a reminder, this was uh, Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. If you've got edits and things to do, especially just simple things like getting rid of white background, free, easy, lovely jubbly, nice and quick one today. See you guys.